Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Nancy Ume and you are absolutely welcome to my channel. Today, we're making the ultimate chicken salad. Whew, this salad is so delicious. It is so easy to make. It is packed with nutrients and antioxidants and all the good stuff. And it's guilt-free. I mean, seriously, if you're trying to lose weight, this is a salad for you. Trust me. <laughs> We're going to need our chicken breast. It's low fat. You know, some almonds, coconut flakes, black pepper. Your veggies are just absolutely optional. Whatever you like. If you like green veggies, if you like fruits in your salad, I just basically use what was in season. Right now we have avocados and mangoes in season in Nigeria, so I just you know played around with it. As some Greek yogurt and then my spices that I'm gonna use for my chicken. Now let's get to it. Now we'll marinate our chicken with some salt, black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, sage, and some Italian herbs. I just added some bouillon cubes because you know I'm a ninja girl. <laughs> so marinate your chicken for about 20 minutes by rubbing this spice rub on it and just covering it for some time. You don't need to add any oil for it to stick to the chicken. Just rub it on it as much as you want. Keep any leftovers, you need it later. So we're gonna boil our eggs. We want a hard boiled egg, so about eight minutes will do now chop your vegetables your fruits and eggs whatever you're using just chop it down you know and cover it i like to chop my veggies very tiny so you know do whatever you like i use a potato peeler for my carrots because you know anybody got time for slicing carrots <laughs> so yeah my bell peppers i just slice them into tiny long strips just do whatever you like. I find that vegetables and, you know, fruits actually taste better in salads when they're sliced really short. So, you know, all their flavors are just ah, in your face. <laughs> yeah, so basically, yeah. Um, for cucumbers, some people like to take out the, um, the meat section with the seeds. Just do whatever you like. Be careful when you're slicing your mangoes. I just cut, you know, scored the mango. Um, before using a spoon to take the flesh out but just be careful so you don't hurt yourself I didn't find any cherry tomatoes so I just find you know, the smallest <laughs> tomatoes in my fridge and cut them into tiny pieces now this is a very good time for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already yeah and we're going to pancier our chicken with very little oil you know the total amount of oil used in this recipe is just a tablespoon you won't believe it but yeah this is enough to cook your chicken cook for about six minutes on each side till it's cooked through and then make sure you rest it so that the residual heat can heat up the chicken you don't want a very dry chicken so don't heat it for so long you want to slice it into nice strips that's after it has rested or if not all the juices will just pop right out of the chicken when you're slicing it if you don't rest it properly before slicing see how juicy this chicken is now it's not overcooked it's not dried out that's what you want a very nice juicy chicken i'll just save that one for later and we're going to do other things now we're going to make our dressing this is a very nutritious and low fat dressing i used um, some low fat greek yogurt some lemon juice salt pepper parsley that i just sliced up and just a little bit of honey because you know uh, we need some taste here yeah just a little lemon juice and and you have a very delicious dressing you can use this dressing for basically anything i find that when you when you put mayonnaise in your salad it just makes it too heavy but this makes it light Remember our leftover oils from the chicken? Now we're going to infuse some garlic and make sure that um, you get the flavors in. The garlic is going to get brown. You sieve it and then add some lemon juice. This is supposed to be used for our veggies to give it you know, a little bit of flavor and some color. Trust me, you need to try that. It works. We're going to toast some almonds with our leftover chicken spice rub. This just makes it extra crunchy and tasty. 
Uh, it's time to layer up your salad. Just do whatever you like. Some people like to pile things on top of each other. See, I like to see my colors and I, I like to make sure that, you know, the food looks really good. So I just arranged it nicely on a nice round plate, you know, so that when I'm serving it, it's going to look really nice. This was for just myself and my husband. So, you know, it's it depends on how many people are having the salad. If you just do whatever you like sprinkle some crunchy things on it and woo, wow just whew, look at this salad now the thing is you can't really get these things in any restaurant or any store or whatever eatery it's just better for you to make it yourself they're so delicious and so light you wouldn't even feel like you've eaten anything by the time you're done please try this salad and let me know how it went whew, i'm just gonna go enjoy myself now <laughs>